Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel or if you've just joined me here recently, welcome and thank you for being here. Uh, today is Tuesday and I'm going to be getting on with the tulle skirt or at least starting the tulle skirt to go with the Fortuna gown. Yesterday I had lots of sensible grown up things to do so I had my first mammogram because I'm getting old so hopefully everything comes back clear and normal from that. I've got no problems, I was just referred by my doctor because of my age just to have a, a regular checkup and to make sure everything's good. Then I went and got my eyes tested because I am, again, I'm getting old. Um, I've noticed recently I've started to find it a little bit harder when I'm doing hand sewing. Um, just I'm needing a little bit more light for close-up work. It's really hard to work on dark fabrics when it's dark. I need loads of light for that. And threading that clear thread's just become a bit of a nightmare. So, um, yeah, so I went and got my eyes tested. And I do need, it's only a teeny bit, but I do need reading glasses and glasses for close-up work. So they're all ordered. I picked them up in a week or so. Found some really cool cat's eye ones, which I love. And they were super cheap, which is even better. And then I took my daughter out for a big walk after school because it was such a beautiful evening. So I didn't actually get any anything sewing. It was produ productive, but I didn't get any sewing done. Yeah, so this morning I, I got the vlog uploaded. And it's Met Gala Day, which is my favorite fashion day of the year so um while i was editing this morning i've been on instagram just checking out all the outfits turning up at the met gala i was so excited by this year's theme of camp and for me the red carpet or pink carpet as it turns out this year was very divided there was people who just took the theme and ran with it and then there was some really really disappointing looks as well people who just didn't seem to either get it or just didn't bother making an effort but I guess that's the same every year there's always people who just don't dress to the theme so yeah really really love that Gaga's arrival and those four changes and that performance she did as she changed between the four looks was just that was my moment of the night I think that um Billy Porter's arrival as the some kind of he looked like a Egyptian sun god or something and then he lifted his beautiful golden wings that that was amazing I haven't seen everyone I need to have a look I've sort of seen little glimpses of things in the background of other pictures that I'm like oh my god who's that I saw the back of I think it was tagged as Cara Delevingne and it was a new dress with um rainbow stripes on it and I want to see more of that I just haven't had a chance to sort of do a good look through at all the official pictures and all the better pictures so far um who else did I see that I loved Oh my god, there were so many awesome looks. Um, there's a few drag queens. Um, Violet Tchotchke, Aquaria popped up um, on my Instagram feed. So I've seen their looks. Violet was wearing a dress that went into a big glove at the end. It was just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So I think the people who took the theme and really embraced it and had fun with it uh some of the looks that i love but right now i'm about to cut out the satin and the lining and sew them together and that's for the skirt to go with the fortune dress um again you hear me say this all the time i want to let it hang overnight so the plan is it's going to be a full circle kind of if you've watched me making the petticoat you know i wanted that really full the skirt's going to go over it so i want that to spin and be a full circle as well so i'm not going to cut a circle i'm going to cut it in panels but the panels will be wide enough at the bottom that it will make a full circle so i want to get that cut and sewn and hung to drop today um i was worried that i didn't have enough tulle in fact i don't think i've got enough tulle so i've actually ordered another bolt of tulle um i ordered that on saturday or friday i think so hopefully that will be here within the next couple of days so if i start putting the tulle on and run out i've got a backup plan so Okay, so this is how I've worked out what size the panels need to be for this skirt. So, the circumference of the waist that I'm doing is 30 inches. I went on Google and Googled radius to circumference calculator and let clever people online do it for me. So, my circumference of my waist is 30, so that's my diameter and radius. This is all in inches. So that's that measurement there. So waist is 30, diameter, radius. So this is the circle that I need my skirt to be with my hole cut in the middle. So the radius of that is my 4.75 from there. And then I need it to be 35 inches long with my seam allowances. So when I put this measurement, so 39.75 into the radius to circumference calculator, 
that means the circumference all around here is 251 inches. So then, because I want to divide it into 8, I've divided that by 8, which means the bottom, oh, and then I've added some seam allowance as well. So I've worked out from that that the top of my skirt needs to be 3.75 inches plus seam allowance. It needs to be 35 inches long, and it needs to be 32 inches wide at the bottom. So that's the size I'm going to cut each panel, which will then make up my full circle for my satin and for my lining layer. Did that make any sense at all? I hope it did. If that didn't make sense, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and explain it a bit better. Then once I've got the satin and the lining together, leave them to drop. And then I'm going to start cutting and adding layers and layers of tulle. So in the past when I've done tulle skirts, I've just gathered tulle around the waist here. But for this one, I want to do something different because I want lots of layers of tulle at the bottom. So I'm going to do my first layer of tulle here. And then I'm going to cut them getting longer and gather them further up towards the waistband so hopefully instead of giving me a skirt that goes like that it should give me a skirt that really sticks out and by the time it gets to the bottom where the petticoat is we should have loads of layers and it should be i kind of know what look i want in my head and this is how my head's told me to do it so hopefully it'll work again i've never done this before i keep doing things to show you that i've never done before corset bodies and lengthening petticoats but I lie in bed awake at night thinking about all these things for hours so hopefully it will work both layers of my skirt are together so here's the lining just over the petticoat nothing's on very straight but you can get the idea and then there is my satin layer so they've been hung up since i made them on tuesday and um, i've been <laughs> i've been working on orders so i haven't had a chance to get on with it and this afternoon i'm um, I'm just, oh, I'm not in the right frame of mind to deal with tons of um, tulle. So I'm going to leave them and start on the tulle first thing tomorrow morning. So I've been working on one of the pieces for the Miss Burlesque Australia outfits because I don't know, I'm just, yeah, it's good mindless stuff. And that's all I'm in the frame of mind for this afternoon, unfortunately. It's all good. It'll pass. So I'm putting, because I couldn't get the purple on a black background, I'm actually filling in all the purple mesh bits with black crystals and because obviously more sparkle so this is a part that's going to go in the back of a jacket and i'm using my iron on crystals so i've got my little baby iron and then i'm putting all the crystals on with my tweezers then i cover it with a bit of silk organza and then press them into place and it's working really well it's taking a while but Sometimes I just need to do this sort of repetitive, mindless stuff and I find it quite calming and therapeutic. So that's what I'm going to carry on and do this evening. And in other news, I have my car back. So I'm mobile again. It's so frustrating being a, well, it's nearly a week and a half without a car, but it's all fixed. I'm back on the road. It's had a service, so they didn't find any other problems with it other than I need some new tyres within the next sort of, 1500 k's but apart from that i'm back on the road and mobile again which is a huge relief so i was worried they were going to find something else and i was going to get another big bill so <laughs> really really happy that they've done what they needed to and there's nothing else that needs to be done okay i've started putting the tulle on the skirt this morning so i've only got the first layer on so far it doesn't look like much yet but as i get more and more layers on there it's going to get fuller and fuller and bigger and bigger so that's just the that's just the start. All right, layer two is on. I'm starting to sort of build up that nice tulle puff at the bottom. I've still got probably at least ten or twelve layers to go, so it's going to take me a couple of days to gather all this tulle on, but it's totally going to be worth it. This is four layers, so it's starting to get the shape I want at the bottom. And the tulle's looking pretty even. It's hard to tell because the satin and the lining are, and everything's just not on there evenly. But uh, if I come low, yeah, the tulle's sort of even. So I think I'm going to keep going with the two inch gaps for now because it's looking nice and full at the bottom already. Um, I was going to go to one inch gaps between the layers here. Now I'll do two more at a two inch gap. And then I'll decide from there if I'm going to keep going two inch or I'll go down to an inch and a half or an inch gap between layers but really happy with how it's looking as 
as each layer gets more gathered it's starting to hide the stitching on the layers below which from a distance you can't even see it anyway so once it's all together you won't even notice it this is five layers oh my god it's just getting better and better i love it so much this is six layers on now and it's starting to really look like the fairy tale princess tulle gown that i want uh, the proportions look really weird on here at the minute because it is a t-length dress and because it's sort of sticking out at the bottom and we haven't got the corset or anything with it to give it context it looks a bit the proportions do look a bit funny so i've got six layers on there with 12 meters in each so what's that 72 meters of tulle that i've gathered onto it so far um linear meters so cutting off the bolt i've used 14 meters i've cut 14 meters off my 50 yard bolt so far so if you are going to make this dress i do suggest you buy a whole bolt of tulle and get the extra wide tulle rather than um, buying it by the meter from your local fabric shop because that will work out super expensive i've still got maybe i'm not sure I think I'm still going to keep going by two inch gaps at the minute because it's looking really good. It's starting to look really full and giving me the shape that I want. And then, yeah, so I've got at least, what, one, two, three, four, maybe another five layers of tulle to go. So it's going to be huge. It's going to be so pretty. You know me, I can't do anything by halves. So if I'm going to make a tulle skirt, it's going to be the biggest, spinniest, swishiest tulle skirt ever. So I think I'm going to call it a night now. It's I think it's about 8 o'clock. So I'm just going to go and chill out and have a glass of wine. Um, yeah, it's Friday night. I'm going to go and have a glass of wine and watch some TV, I think. just need to give my mind a bit of a break. And then tomorrow morning, I've got a little bit of time to sew tomorrow in between other things, just like family life stuff. So hopefully I'll get a few more layers on tomorrow. And then Sunday I should be able to finish it because I really want to have this video up on friday on friday sunday night i need wine so i will see you tomorrow this is layer seven now and it's just getting bigger i just love it more with it, every layer that i put on and i'm definitely going to keep to the two inch gap right to the top it doesn't need any extra layers and as each layer gathers more it's hiding the layer below more and more so by the time we get to the top it's going to not really notice and this is what nine layers looks like so I've just got one more layer to go and um, I'm actually gonna join that right around the top so I'm gonna stitch the outside and the lining together gather that on then I can do the waistband and the hem and I'm done sounds simple when I say it like that but I've still got a few more hours of work to do duck down you can get more of an idea of how it looks sort of at the bottom oh my god it's so cute love it i've joined the lining and the satin layer together and i'm putting the last layer of tulle on now and i'm trying to give you an idea of how big this skirt is on my desk it is just vast and it's really hard to sew because it all falls off I'm almost tempted to just sew the rest on the put my sewing machine on the floor to sew the rest there you go that's the size of it it's hanging off everywhere there's so much tulle so I've used, there's 120 metres of ruffles on this that I've cut and gathered, which is insane. And I've used, I think it's about 30 metres sort of as it comes off the bolt. So I'm looking at it while I'm sewing it going, oh, it would look so good in red or pink or black. <laughs> so I don't think this will be the last of this style of skirts that I do. I think it, this technique would work really well for shorter skirts as well to get them really puffy. So... Maybe that's what I will do next is a sort of knee length version of this. So this is what 10 layers and 120 meters of tulle looks like on a skirt. It's so beautiful. The shape is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Today was Mother's Day and I've had the most gorgeous day with my family. I got breakfast in bed. Um, which I shared with a cat because he kept stealing my toast. Um, then we went out to the mall to get some stuff we needed. Then went to my favourite vegan restaurant, Olac, for lunch, which is really gorgeous. And since then, I've been home 
and I have just finished making the chill skate. It's a bit taken a bit longer than I thought. It's like half past six now. I'm just filming the end of the video. So this is my finished chill skirt and I love it. I've just filmed myself spinning in it. So go and check out the video and you can see a better full length shot. I'm really happy with how straight it is at the bottom. And because it's so full, it's super spinny. Oh my God, I love it. Now it's really tight on my waist, but that's because there's going to be a corset over it. And if it's loose on my waist, as soon as I get the reduction from the corset, it'll drop down. So it has to be super, super tight. But overall, this is, oh my God, it's taken ages, but it's so worth it because the shape it gives is just perfect. Mm -hmm.